Hello everyone and welcome back to my Create Mod Survival World. I hope you enjoyed the last episode and I'm very sorry for the audio issues that I had. I think they're fixed. Hopefully they're fixed. If they're not fixed in this one, just let me know and I will keep working to try to fix them. With that out of the way, we will get into what we will be starting today, and that will be our automatic cake factory. Because that was the highest voted thing on the poll, so that means once we finish this, we'll begin to build buildings and everything. But first, you guys wanted to see this. So a cake has many different ways it can be made. There is with the dough or with the baked cake base and the milk and the filling or the... the the spout when it's on the holding thing right here to make a cake and i think the way we're gonna go is with the cake base because with that we can make other different kinds of cakes if we just have the same setup so i think we'll get some of the easier things from the cake base out of the way today we need to get some eggs some sugar and some dough dough is just flour and we already know how to automate flour we just need to expand this to make it much much bigger and i have one chicken here that will be used for our chickens and I'm already growing some sugar cane, so we should be good there. I'm going to go out and get some chickens. Actually, just, just a few. Breed them up. We will start building this. Um, I think we will add it over here on the edge. I'll clear out an area and add. A, we'll just build it in this area. Maybe it goes into the mountain some. That'd be kind of cool. But I just wanted a little bit away from that so we can have some room for some decoration buildings when we do get around to it. Yeah, so I'm going to get some chickens and then I'll be right back. And I will also clear this out. The other day I got a suggestion to use the replay mod to help me just capture I guess cinematic shots while I'm doing things around the world and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to test it out it it wasn't too difficult to set this up um it's just me clearing out the area that we're going to build the little factory in it could be better um I could have shown more of me clearing but I hope you enjoy it and let's get back into it and now that that's cleared, um, I got some chickens. I got two of them over here. And I'm going to put them in a little pen, breed them up for a little bit, and then we'll have hopefully enough chickens to where we'll always have eggs coming out. Also, I updated the create mod and the add-ons I was using to the most recent version. It mainly just changed a few textures and added some new blocks, but a few of the things, like you see, that's different now. And the biggest one that I saw was the water wheels look different. There's a new one, the big water wheel which we'll have to check out um i saw what was else was cool an elevator there's a elevator stuff that we can set up uh, i updated it it didn't i don't think it added too much but hopefully now that we have all these new features yeah like this looks different we should be able to just have a better create mod world let me get these chickens out of here without killing them Okay, now that they're in here, let's breed them up. See if this egg gives me any... Oh, it does. Okay, so just keep keep breeding these guys up. Maybe I'll put some uh, shoots or whatever underneath and so that they can have automatic egg collection. And I might just move them all into a smaller pen. I don't know. But like that, we will continue to grow our chickens. And today, I think we're going to set up sugar cane. Because it will probably be... be of the easier ones to set up i'm thinking of doing a design like that but i want to use the new large water wheel to power it so maybe we do something with these things called gantry shafts and the carriage and everything like that and with that we can make it go back and forth i'll i'll try to set it up here and show you guys what i mean by that but i just want to make a little module because i feel like the easiest way to do the sugar cane would be have little modules and then figure out a design and then duplicate that multiple times rather than figure out something really large I'm going to get to designing that. I will bring you along and here we go. Okay, so here's the idea. I just set up a new one of these big water wheels and it's not giving us much power, but it's giving us something. And this is the gantry shaft and gantry carriage. The shafts are kind of like the normal shafts and how they build like that. And you can see how they're rotating in a direction. But this carriage can be placed on this shaft and like that. And you see, based on the direction that this is rotating, this thing goes this way. And if I come over here to this, I have a gear shift if I turn it off it comes back this way because it's spinning the other way see now with this let me go get my bed let me sleep real quick now with this we can connect linear chassis like this and then it will create a line like this and if we put the harvesters on this side and then there is sugar cane underneath it will get the top layer of sugar cane and then once it connects to here we send a signal to make it come back 
I still need to figure out how to do that and make the harvesters, but that's the basic idea. Now I've updated it a little bit and we have the harvesters on the front. We have the portable storage interface over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it over here to this block right here so that it can connect and drop off its stuff whenever it docks so it'll just drop on the ground for now but we should be fine oh redstone contact that's what this is so in order for this to be able to go back and forth we have to have a way to determine when it has reached the end of the line and so when this redstone contact hits this it will pass a current through these ends right here and what i can do is i can take a redstone link and pass it over here here we need to invert this signal with the torch maybe like that so it's going that way and then somehow we'll have to turn the torch off most likely something like this the signal will come out frequency two click with an item to set frequency set this to cobblestone and then we'll set this to cobblestone as well and what we need to happen is we need to have it be some sort of like it touches and then it it, it um flips a switch like a, a flip a flip flop so that it can not be doing that behavior like that how it's just going back and forth because it needs to do some sort of flip flop here <laughs> The best way that I have found to toggle is just probably with a literal powered toggle latch. And I need to set up some more contacts on the end over here, like on this side, one more, so that it will send a pulse to this as well, so it'll switch. And so every time it gets a pulse from either side, it, it toggles it. I think we can make another set of redstone contacts. I don't think they're too difficult to make. I really enjoy how it add, this mod adds a bunch of other things like these redstone links and, and and the, the, the contacts here because I just, you know, they really help to bring depth to the game, like the redstone, because I feel like the redstone hasn't been updated in a while. And this is the base setup for this, and it'll just keep going back and forth. It'll it'll unload as it goes back. We need to add some we need to add some harvesters on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is make those. I wonder if I can make those right now. I'm just gonna turn this off by breaking that right here for now. Remember when it was difficult for us to make harvesters what am i missing oh and a cyan alloy we could we could get some more of that let's just make sure this uh functions uh let's go get some more andesite alloy i'm thinking that for the sugar cane part we don't have it as a module part i think it's just going to be a really long line a really long line of of sugar cane and it doesn't look like i have any more andesite so i'll be right back and i'll go get some of that because it's kind of far away i know there's a huge mine over there for it oh man well, at least I got some. But look at this place. This is where I get all my andesite nowadays. I just found this ravine and it's just full andesite. Really is helpful when a lot of this stuff needs the casing and I haven't set up an automatic way to uh, get it yet. It's just a problem that it's in a ravine and so I kind of had to build this little tunnel or not tunnel, but just pile out the ruined portal next to it too. I already looted it. Yeah, long, but yeah, not much in there. And I run over here back to the river house is yeah everything else is over here and i just like to run over here get the andesite i don't have to do it too often and then run back or swim back i think i'm just gonna run back i don't really want to put the boat on and with that we have the harvesters on both sides so i can go ahead and move this latch back yep it's gonna work normally and it's just gonna keep going back and forth Maybe i speed this up so it's not uh super super slow over where they're trying to grow i don't know i'm just gonna let this run for a little bit let's see if a can we sugar cane grows what will happen to it here? It gets harvested there, and the block didn't go on the ground, so I'm assuming it's in that chest. And if it... This does not destroy sugarcane. Okay, so we don't actually need any sugarcane on this line right underneath it. Just in front of the four. And did it drop the item? We did not to see. I think I want to put the redstone... Where's my pickaxe? Oh, I just remembered I lost it. Broke. I'll just make an iron one real quick. I think I want to put the, um, the item thing before... Or it hits the latch. I think that'll just be the best way to do this. Like that. That should be the best way. And we need some light over here. Um, it'll drop everything off and then it will go ahead and hit the thing and turn back around. We will make this faster. I'm going to set up a little or a pretty big water wheel area. I might decorate it. Yeah, it connected and dropped the sugar cane on the ground and then it hit the latch and now it's going back. Yeah, this should work. This should work pretty well. I'm thinking I'm just going to set up the time lapse or the, the sped up camera from the third person and build a pretty big module of this and then I'll come back and we I'll show you everything how it's working
I think that's it. Um, I don't know if I used the replay mod correctly there. There were some moments where I forgot to unpause and pause everything, but this is it in the end. Um, I need to add some more of these uh, harvesters on it. But for now, I think that's good. Uh, I'm doing these little trenches every two blocks like that. And we'll have to build up some of the, oops, some of the area over here. So like, when we get down here, I'll have to get some dirt or blocks or whatever and build that up. I decided to go with some of this mangrove wood. Um, I think it goes well with the red here and everything here. We'll use this for the most of the build. I think it'll look pretty good. Let's go ahead and put some sugar cane down so that it's growing that we're actually farming it. Actually, also, I'm going to put chew and chest so I can actually start collecting. And you know, you gotta make them clear, you know? Let's see, I don't think it'll have anything. There's a very low chance of it actually having anything. Um, what about the harvesters? How many, did I need more? I did, I needed to get some more of the casings, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish everything and then I'll show you when it's done. And with that, I planted all the sugar cane, put all the rows in, and I think, oh, we already have two growing. Let's see if they get uh, put into our chest here. If so, then I think we're done for the day. I think we built the automatic sugar cane farm. It needs to be decorated, but there's a sugar cane, and then we just send that to the grind wheel, and that gets ground up, and we have automatic sugar for our cake factory. I think this runs pretty well. I'm just going to let it go for a little bit, and then we'll see where it goes from there. But next episode, we will set up the grindstones, and we will hopefully have enough chickens to set that up, and then we'll be done with the basic ingredients. Then we'll have to move on the wheat and milk which we can get from the cows that i have over here uh i think we're done with step one and i did learn a lot from this we got to explore the new gantry shaft things well not new but new to me and yeah that's gonna be it thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye